Today we're going to be separating a more basic style of image using Separation Studio. Now this is a two color image, let's say it's black and gray if it's going on a light garment, but a lot of times it's really hard to get the blending between the two colors, especially when you're manually separating via color range in Photoshop. So we're going to use Separation Studio to do this. Now first let's take a look at the size of the image. We go to image and image size, we can see this is an 8x8 image with 300 dpi good resolution but if we zoom in we do see some fuzzy edges now keep in mind all this fuzz will come through the separation so the highest quality image you can get as possible the better your separation is going to be now this particular piece this heart heart artwork is going to be going on a light garment so we're actually going to separate that in separation studio by using this JPEG that the customer sent us so we go to separation studio and then we go to open file we find the heart JPEG and then it separates out as it opens. You notice that Separation Studio automatically separates into nine colors. Well, we don't need any of the colors except for the gray in this particular artwork case, so we're going to actually delete all the background as well as all the colors. Once those are all deleted, we only have the gray left. Now we're going to change the background color to custom and then change it to white because it's a white garment. And now we're going to generate a black channel. It's better to generate a black channel from the file source versus the document. The document's already been separated, the file is in true form. The darkest separation is going to be your sharper file source. So we're going to select that, we're going to select the heart again, and that's going to bring in our black. So let's take a look at our original image here, and then we have our separated image. Now, we need to definitely make it darker. The one thing we're going to do to make it darker though, however, before we actually do a little bit of adjusting is we're going to print the black after the gray. So we're going to go ahead and move the black channel away from the base. So we choose to move away from base, move the black away from the base. Now the black is printed after the gray. So let's mess around with the black a little bit by right clicking and adjusting the channel. We can make this a little darker. Let's bring up the original again. So we're getting a little bit closer to that original form. We can actually also create other black channels to see how that's going to look. So that's getting pretty close. Let's generate another black channel. Let's say maybe a skeletal black and see how that changes the effect. A skeletal black didn't really add or take away anything. So we're going to go ahead and control Z and undo that. Let's try to do a generate a strip detail black. Once again, that didn't really do anything either. So it looks like we're going to be able to do this image just fine with two colors. We can now see on screen both the original and our separated artwork, and we're getting relatively close. We're actually going to do, make some adjustments to the gray because this particular image notes it has a little bit more gray in it. So we're going to come to the gray channel, make some adjustments, and we can make the gray darker. Let's bring in some more gray into it like we have in the original artwork. We actually also can change the color of the gray so we can actually make the gray darker by going to custom color. We're going to go to a vertical and then we can make this gray a little bit darker to see if that changes the look. And we're getting very close to our original artwork image right there. So here we have our final image, two colors. Let's take a look at them right now. We have the, the gray, which will be printed first, then we have the sharper black and it brings it together a very nice composite piece with two colors taking a look at the original artwork over here and then the separated artwork right here from here we'll actually take this into Corel Draw so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and save this okay now that we have Corel Draw open we're going to go ahead and import this directly into Corel Draw we'll go to file and then we'll go to import and we'll choose the heart heat EPS file that we were just playing with once that's imported, place as an encapsulated postscript. We can then size the file down to the correct dimensions that we would like it. And then we go to print. Now once this pulls into print, you're actually going to see the gray and the black come in as spot colors. This is the same as Illustrator as well. You can choose Accurip and that will print in half tones through Accurip printing each spot color as a separate separation. We can also show our document palette, which we have our gray and our black. So if we'd like to put down some vector text, we can actually take that and we can color it black or we can color it gray depending on what color we want it. We can highlight that, color it black or color it gray. And that way that text is vector and will print in that specific separation. 
inaccurate, we would probably choose between a 45 to 55 line half tone printing on a 230 to 280, maybe a 305 mesh screen on a white garment with this particular design. And that concludes the workflow process of separating a more basic separation with two colors using Separation Studio, then importing it for separation printing.